Ground family. If you are new here, then we welcome you to Rising Ground Church. My name is LaShondra and we're so happy to have you. So today's prophetic word is, this is something for the year of 2021. The Lord gave this to me a while back and um, just over the last few days, he's been telling me and I've been feeling it in my spirit that now's the time that I need to share this with everyone. So 2021 is going to be the year of release, specifically the year of release of homes. So whether that's homes that you've been looking at, houses that you've been wanting, houses that you've been expecting the Lord to give to you, but maybe you didn't know how it was going to be done. Maybe you didn't know the way for it to happen. Then the Lord is saying that 2021 is the year of release. And it is going to be the release supernaturally of these houses and of these homes. Thank you, Lord, taking place because many of you have even been wanting homes. It's not about the house. It's not about having this house to have something or to show off or to tell somebody else that you got this type of house or that you're living in this neighborhood or, you know, something like that. No, the house is there because you are really wanting a home, a home for yourself, a home for your family. And so that that brings me to the next portion the Lord is saying also that not only is it going to be a release of homes but it's also going to be a release of ministries marriages and the release from being barren now that barrenness is spiritually as well as in the natural it's also going to be a release of children released into your life released into your womb also release of even prison sentences God is shortening the time on some of those prison sentences. And God is dismissing some things in your life, perhaps even negative judgments. Um, there will be a release of some judgments that will be in your favor. Those things will be released in your favor. And God is positioning you now in 2020 to receive the release of 2021. Some of you are and will experience portions of that release right now, which is why it's so imperative that we listen to God's voice, that we follow whatever it is that he is telling us to do, to say. And I did a word, the last video I think that I did, and it was about get to your promised land by all means necessary. So that is part of that positioning. That is part of being in the place and in the flow that the Lord would have you in in order for you to receive that release that is coming. Again, some of you are already receiving some of that release. You see it in your life. It's taking place now. Some of you are feeling that and that I think that that is even what we are feeling as far as that impression within our spirit that something is something is on the brink of happening something is getting ready to explode in our lives and so the Lord is saying just be in position so like I said if you didn't see that last video about get to your promised land then I'll put that in the description box but I say look at that as well because the Lord was speaking some mighty things in that message and he's saying get to your promised land that's part of your positioning that you need to be in in order to receive these release of homes and these release of businesses, the release of ministries and marriages and children. And that's also children coming back to you. Not only children being released in your womb, but also children coming back to you, children coming back to the Lord, children coming back to that home. Not only was God saying that these natural homes are coming, but also just the the comfort of home, that feeling of home, that, that, that place of peace and of security and comfort and love and well-being and wholeness. Those things are home. And so some of your children are coming back as well. And then the Lord said um, that as you are even now in preparation mode, then it's up to you to get in alignment to receive that release. So it's gonna be up to you to be in that position, to be in that posture, to be in that stance, to be in that place of willingness, of readiness, of wholeness, of, <laughs> of everything in order to receive that release. So it's up to you to receive it. 
God is doing his part. Now it's up to, up to you to do yours. And your part is simply being in position, is simply being in alignment, is simply listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit, to following his directions, to following his unctions, so that you can be where you need to be in order to receive it. And God is speaking to you to listen up to what he wants you to do to be ready. So there again, that just goes right in line with that there are some specifics that the Lord may, may be telling you to do. There may be some things. I know here lately the Lord has been having us <laughs> do some things that seem kind of odd or seem kind of like they don't make sense or like even even down I share this before as well even down to the Lord may have you do something that you don't see the immediate benefit of it like the Lord sometimes will have us do something he will give us an instruction and it seems like nothing really came from it how many have you have of you have been there before I have and but I know the Lord told me to do it and so sometimes what that is is that literally activates your blessing. So it's it's a it's a move of faith, of course, but it's also just an activation of the blessing that the Lord really does have for you. Sometimes we have to move in faith by faith and then expect the blessing to come. It may not be that it was that specific thing that you did that made it happen, but the obedience is what activated the fullness of the blessing in your life because you want to receive the fullness of the blessing. You know, because this is the thing. Everything is not just about material things. And and I pray that, that you know that. But God does want to give us those things also. But alongside of that, there's there's beauty and there's glory with that. And even, even like I said, as far as even the homes being released, it's not just about these material homes being released, houses being released, but it's what it represents. And even what it represents to you. For some of you, a house can represent a certain level of security and freedom. Now, we know that our, our true freedom only comes in Christ. We know that we can only have our firm foundation in Him because no matter what you have, if you don't have the Lord, then everything else is meaningless. But those houses can represent so much more to you than just a house. It literally does represent a home to you. And that's what the Lord knows. That's what the Lord feels. And the Lord had given me a dream a few weeks ago. I won't even go through the whole dream. But this is what, well, I think I will. <laughs> in the dream, me and my daughter were in this drive through line um, getting food. And we had did our order and it was specifically, it was like she had ordered water to go alongside of her meal. And um, once we get to the window, now again, if you listen to any of my other videos and I said that my daughter's name represents gift, she's not able to drive, but in the dream, she was in the driver's seat. So that means that the gift was up front. The gift was carrying this thing along, right? So we get to the window and um, the order comes back and the lady said, well, first she ordered a, a small water to go alongside with her meal. When we get to the window, then the lady says, oh, we're actually all out of small cups and I just gave you a large sweet tea. That's my daughter's, like, one of her favorite drinks is a sweet tea. So, we looked at each other and we were like, what? And this was the thing that the Lord was showing me in that, first of all, that she got what she really wanted. She really wanted that drink, but she was trying to be modest and say, okay, I'll get, I'll get a water to go alongside of this. But the Lord said, I'm not giving you just what you asked for. I'm giving you what you really want. So sometimes it looks like we don't get what we ask for, or maybe we get just what we ask for. But the Lord is saying that we're entering into a season where he's giving us what we really want. Sometimes we are asking in a very humble way, we would say. We would say we're trying not to ask for too much, or we're trying not to, to um, seem like we're going over the top with something. But the Lord is saying, not only am I giving you what you asked for, 
but sometimes he even is removing that so that he can give you what you really want because God wants to give you more. So in that dream, she, because this is what was funny about that. You would think, how are they going to be out of water or, or this size of cup? But it was just the point that, no, I want to give you what you really want. And so I feel that right now that even as we're coming into this season and even as things have seemed one way and it looks as if we don't know how things are going to turn out. Well, God is saying, I do know how things are going to turn out and I'm going to release these things into your life. So again, not only are houses being released, but 2021 is the year of release period. So it's going to, it's going to be a, a release of marriages, a release of families, a release of children, a release of ministries, a release of businesses. And there will also be perfect alignment for these things to happen. So that's why the Lord is saying, even right now, 2020, he's getting you prepared for 2021. So, all right, that is it for today. I love you guys. Continue to keep in touch with us here. We love to hear from you. We love to hear how your journey is going. And we do pray for everyone. We pray for each person that is a part of Rising Ground Church. And we pray over and with the emails that we receive as well. Because it's a blessing to us to know that you are receiving something from God. And that we are a part of that in your lives. So, all right, we love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.